a number of celebrities, a prank call sends a huge law enforcement response to a home, a private home. Only there's no crime there. Now it has happened to a couple in La Cunada. And as NBC4's Kathy Vara reports, they still don't know why their address was targeted. The helicopter was spinning maybe about a thousand feet off the ground above us. What started as a normal day for Alex McNulty and his husband Jerry Sims. And I was cleaning up the backyard. Turned into a major crime scene. Second hand from Glendale PD, Mills says that was he shot his parents. PD states he has an AR-15. And I did see off in the distance that the sheriffs were coming with the lights and sirens. But they never expected this, a fleet of patrol cars marked and unmarked showing up at the entrance to their duplex, officers with weapons drawn. Looked like a scene from a movie because you never expect to see that kind of firepower. When they were asking my husband to come down the hill backwards with his hands up, I kind of looked down on my t-shirt. I was wearing a white t-shirt at the time and I noticed a red dot and I knew at that time that it actually was very serious. Both were taken into custody and separately put into patrol cars. After a little bit of questioning in a squad car, I was handcuffed. I did realize that it wasn't us they were looking for. The LA County Sheriff Department's La Crescenta station confirms that Alex and Jerry were victims of swatting when someone makes a prank emergency call to get a large police response. In this case, uh, somebody was had murdered their parents with an assault rifle in our, the front unit and that they were making bombs. It was a prank, they think, by a gamer with an untraceable IP. The Sheriff's Department was quick to apologize, but they wonder if it could happen to someone else. It's pretty annoying that some kind of gap in our technology allows this to happen. 2020 is pretty bad as it is on its own. Let's not make some havoc for other people. In La Cunada, Kathy Vara, NBC4 News.